the Zaythisk. In its unnatural embrace lies the hope of being cured. You feel your parasite stir. You deny me my due, then seek my comfort. Bah! Sit and be pure! Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then, agony. Your limbs are unresponsive, cut off by the device's magic. You can't move. You urge your body from the chair with every fiber of your consciousness can't lift so much as a finger. You're hurting! Let me help! The room swims back into focus. Inside your head, you feel a familiar squirm. You escaped, but so did your tadpole. <sighs> with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, your problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. No! No! By the Queen's blade, what have you done?! That was too close. Skvar! The Zathisk! It might have killed you. I felt your torment. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zathisk's tampering. <laughs> <laughs> 